Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's February 17th, 2024 daily reading. All right. Go ahead and hit that like button. I hope this helps and assists you guys in some way. You guys already know that this February 17th, 2024 reading could be a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. But hopefully when you hear this, it helps and assists you guys in some way. Go ahead and hit that motherfucking like button, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support to the channel, your comments, your subscriptions. Um, thank you guys for my new subscribers, old subscribers. I want to thank my channel membership. I want to thank my loyal, loyal viewers. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys, okay? All right. So let's get into it because I also wanted to um, give a little shout out. Um, I wanted to give a little shout out, but I'm going to come back and do that on the next reading. Okay. That's what I was writing down. I got all my people right now. I got do my personal readings, you guys. Come on, y'all. These personal readings are half off. Y'all better take advantage of this because, honey, I am not going to be doing personal readings after Pisces season. I'm no longer going to be doing personal readings for maybe a couple of months. So let's get into this February 17, 2024. Let's go into my Pisces energy. What's the message here? What's going on in Pisces energy? Four swords. I know that's right, Pisces. Four swords. You're healing, you guys. You're healing from some type of pain. You're healing from some type of heartache and pain. All of my Pisces out there, you guys are really healing. Self-love, self-care, you know, getting back to your happiness, to your joy. I know that's right. Okay? This is taking a beat, taking a second, taking a minute, you know, meditating, contemplating a lot of things, you know, that may have occurred, but I love this because this is also, this is self-love because this is knowing when enough is enough, knowing when you need a break, <laughs> knowing when you need time to yourself, you know, this is like, this is knowing when enough is enough and knowing when you don't want to keep taking yourself through something, all right, mentally, physically, emotionally, um, you know, this may be an energy too, where again, this is healing those cobwebs in your heart, you know, being at peace after grieving, after a loss, after some type of mental pain or heartbreak, what's coming towards you? Okay. Six of swords. That's good. Um, six of Swords, there may be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius coming towards you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is good. Um, Pisces, I see that you are becoming, I would say this is an energy of transition. You know, you're leaving something behind, you're moving forward. Um, like this is like an energy where it's like, I'm not giving up on myself. I'm, you know, you're determined to feel better. You're determined to get away from, get out of this energy and get, just move forward in your life. You know, no longer let this be something that hinders you or holds you back or block you. So this is really good. This is like a lot of blockages. Like you're removing a lot of blockages out your life. For some of you guys, you may be receiving Reiki. Some of you guys are getting Reiki done, Reiki healing done. Some of you guys are meditating. Yeah, but you're moving yourself out of this energy, right? Of unforgiveness, pain, grief, you know, you're freeing yourself. What's the advice on how Pisces should be coming towards a situation? Yeah, we have death. Yeah, and we have fool. Good job, Pisces. Good job. I feel like this is really good, Pisces. Whoever's coming towards you um, is someone that may even want to... Um, you know, this is someone that wants to come towards you, someone who wants to take a trip towards you, someone who wants to see you, someone who wants a new beginning with you. Someone's coming towards you. They want a new beginning here with you, Pisces. Um, they want to start over. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to communicate. But I really kind of feel like, Pisces, you're also feeling like, you know, your peace is more important at this time, right? This may be a Scorpio. This may be an Aries. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, there's someone that wants to maybe even like come into your life. It's like they want a new, they want to start something with you, but you may be saying, no, it's not time. I feel like this person is very adamant. They're very pushy. Um, yeah, 
this person wants to be in oh wow this person love this person is saying that they want to be in your life this person really wants to be in your life like this person is somebody who's fighting tooth and nails uh to communicate with you constantly trying to kind of like you know put themselves out there to you and um I just kind of feel like you're not there's an energy of you you're just not ready for that you're not there yet. You're not ready. You're still healing. You know, you're going, you're in this transformative energy that you're in this, you're, you're in a very transformative period of your life where you're trying to, you're getting through some type of phase, something is phasing out or you're, yeah, you're kind of like, you're going through a, a transformative time. You're transforming. There's some type of transition that you're making here. So some of you guys, again, you may have experienced a loss, grief, heartbreak, pain, and you're still in this, hey, I need a moment to myself. I'm still healing. And it's that, it's just that it, I can really commend Pisces for knowing, not wasting anyone else's time and also being true to yourself and loving yourself enough to know that when, you know, some of you guys may have experienced death in your family too. Maybe you've lost a loved one too. There could be so many things that may have happened here. But the thing is, is that knowing when when you're ready, knowing when and where. And I just kind of feel like right now with this death and the fool here, I do feel like spirit is saying, um, this is about recognizing something. This is about not lying to yourself or lying to someone else. You know, so many people get in connections and relationships and it's unrequited. And I feel like this is really good for you. You're saying like, hey, I'm not quite ready yet, but I am on my way to getting better. Or you're having a conversation with someone and you're telling them like, hey, I've experienced something. I'm This is something really big in my life and I'm moving out of this, but I'm still in this very transitional period right now. So you're being honest with this person. I feel like the best thing that you can do is be optimistic and do have faith, but at the same time, allow someone to know where you are in your life at this time. Even when this person is steady pushing, at the end of the day, if anything go wrong, you can say that, hey, I was honest with this person, right? I was honest. I didn't lead this person on. I told this person how I was feeling. I told this person that, you know, um, I'm still healing. You know, I'm still needing more time. So at the end of the day, I feel like this person is steady rushing towards you, wanting to keep conversating with you, wanting to keep talking to you. And you're steady trying to kind of like, you know, you may be like saying, hey, you just need more time or you need a break or you just need more time to heal. Um, but this person is someone that's going to constantly check on you, keep calling you, talking to you. And that's OK, Pisces. I feel like at the end of the day, as long as you're being honest and telling this person where you stand, then I kind of feel like you're OK. OK, um, I don't feel like spirit is saying that you don't need to jump into something or leap into something just yet that you're not ready for. And I hope that you take this with grace and I hope that this helps you in some way.